I'm tryna make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't tryna grow then it's done for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't tryna link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, for the for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record. YouTube. Um, just giving you guys the last update and everything uh, with the process. I know a lot of people's been following and been kind of interested um, in just the process and how it's went. If you've seen the previous part one, part two videos, you kind of know where it's at. It's been lengthy. Uh, it's been a pain in a way, but it all kind of panned out in the end. So I'm going to give some tips or now with the, the TSB they got out, it may be a lot harder um, to get this done. But if you push and even get go as far as an attorney um, to even get the car back, you've got some leeway. So this is my recommendation to you guys that are going through the process. I first thing went again through everything. And instead of going with the equal trade, I went ahead and done the, the buyback as if they were to pay off the amount and I was to go at a clean slate. You're not going to get the full amount back. Um, sorry, it's just not going to happen. You're going to have to, you're going to have negative equity. If you had a trade in, they're going to make you pay. And there's a usage fee because you put so many miles on the car or whatever's done. They're going to make you pay for it. So before you finish it, this is what I recommend. Go ahead and pay the balance that's owed because when it's all said and done, it'll actually be cheaper in the long run. Um, versus trade in having to pay, you know, if you have, if you paid sales tax on the car, you won't have to pay it again. If you do another, uh, trade or they'll reimburse you, if you go ahead and do the buyback, they'll make, they'll pay all that back and you'll be clean and you won't have to worry about it versus a trade in. It's a little bit more lengthy, a little bit more of a pain in the ass. So go ahead and pay off that balance. Now that gives you a clean slate to kind of see if you want a truck, if you want to get another Mustang, if you want to just go on with another beater car, it's done, it's over with. It's a lot easier. Even if you're going to another dealership, instead of working with that same one to get a different car, you don't have to worry about anything else. There's no facts and no crazy stuff that needs to be done uh, for paperwork on any other cars or trade-in. It's a done deal. Um, so I'll actually tell you guys what I ended up getting. I traded for another Mustang, uh, but it is a 2019 Bullet 500A package car. Love the car. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, well, why didn't you get a Shelby or something like that for the amount of money you paid? I got a great deal. The owner of Fremont Ford, those guys, I've been working with Morgan Hill. They had a Bullet there. We couldn't meet on pricing, just didn't pan out. So. The owner of Fremont Ford actually called me with the sales manager on the line. He cut me $3,000 off MSRP, no markup. So I got a 500A package car for around $48,500 um, or $49,000. I can't exactly remember. But super good deal on these bullets. They hold value really well. And to be honest, I like the bullets because they're a little bit more rare to see versus the Shelbys in the area, uh, especially out in California. We see this is the bullet. Um, first off, I love the car. Um, 500A car. I'm not going to do in-depth full review, um, but I will let you guys know that I will be posting those if that's what you guys want to follow up on. I've got extra time to make videos, so I don't mind to do this stuff. Um, 2019, just got it brand new. Um, really enjoy it. The review I'm going to be giving is more or less just a real-world um, review. It's not going to be influenced by somebody else's car or a dealership review where we're trying to sell anything or really put it out there. This is going to be a real life circumstances uh, for reviews and everything. So everything that annoys me and makes me happy about this car will be in the reviews if you guys want me to do that. Um, I did go Highland Green because of the color. I just, I think with the 68, I'm a big, um, big fan of this color. Um, 
So yeah, if you guys are really interested in that, I don't mind to go ahead and make videos and keep you posted and do some reviews on it. And I've also got some parts, uh, some Steed IRS subframe braces, G-Track brace. Uh, I'm gonna go with the shifter eventually. Uh, I've got a Steed intake. Um, this does have the GT350 manifold, but yeah. So now after seeing the car and stuff, um, I'm, I'm super stoked about it. Um, the build is gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, everybody falling over it, not wanting to make big power boosted. I'm just gonna try to keep it original and a good balance of mods people would normally go for. Um, make this car over 500 crank, um, low fives with the setup. It should be fun regardless. So, yep. Um, with everything said and done, I'm super happy with the way it panned out. You heard my opinion on the whole buyback. Go ahead and pay it out clean. Do a clean slate. You get whatever you want. Faster process. And just be ready for whatever they have. Um, and you know, wish everybody good luck on the process if they're going through it. So anyhow, please like, subscribe, and I'll have some reviews and updates on the bullet. Um, if that's what everybody wants. Anyhow. Yeah. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable.